Hey everyone, as always, Dylan Miller Prospecting, and it's Pater Battle Time. And if you saw the thumbnail, you know this is not a Pater versus Pater Battle, it is Pater versus Lottery Tickets. Now, last year I did this exact same video where I pit $50 worth of Pater versus $50 worth of lottery tickets. But this year, I really wanted to step it up, and thanks to a stimulus check, I can do that. I am going to be pitting a much better bag of pay dirt, and in this case, it's a $250 bag from Gold Bay. This is their subscription pay dirt, and I'm pretty sure I will get at least an 80% ROI, if not closer to a 90% ROI. And against that, I am pitting $250 worth of lottery tickets. These are $5 tickets and I've got 50 of them and they're the gold payout. Now the reason I chose both of these is I wanted a bag of pay dirt that I knew would get a good return because in last year's video I picked a pay dirt that had no guaranteed return and it ended up getting smoked by the lottery tickets. So this time I have a pay dirt that I know has a good return and I'm also pretty sure that these lottery tickets will give me a good return as well. And the reason for that is because in the state of Indiana, they show you exactly how many tickets have been won. And this ticket has been out for quite some time with no winners. The $100,000 prize, which there were three of them, only one has been claimed. In fact, only about 50% of all tickets have been claimed. So this is really good odds for me. So now let's just go to the overhead so we can classify this material down and then we're going to pan it out, scratch off some tickets and see which one is the winner. As you saw from the descriptions, Gold Bay does not have a very good description for their $250 subscription bag. It pretty much just says that it's five pounds and that the gold will be bigger and the gold amount will be based on spot on the day of purchase. While the gold payout lottery tickets has an extensive description, I just removed about 99% of it and just told you the basic as well as the prizes and odds, but they are required by law to have a very lengthy description for anything to do with a lottery. Now you will also notice that this bag is open and that's because the pay dirt inside was damp and I did weigh it up previously and it was four pounds, 11.5 ounces. And as you can see, it is now four pounds, 9.3 ounces. So let's just dump this out. I will rinse out the bag, but as you can see, some very chunky material in here. I will wait to check it for magnetite once I classify it down. So let's just listen to some music while I classify it down. Okay, all done classifying, and as you can see, the vast majority of the material is in the plus 10 and then in the minus 20 and minus 40. While the lottery tickets did not require any classifying, I did have to pull them apart so they wouldn't be in a long sheet, and that was about it. So I'm gonna go set up some water and pan all this material out, starting with the plus 10, and I will also be scratching off the tickets at the same time. And I will have two sheets of paper, winners and losers, so you can see as I win and as I lose. Now again, I do expect to get about an 80% to 90% return on this one, which was $250. While with the lottery tickets, I have a one in 3.99 chance for each ticket to be a winner and the minimum prize is $50. So I only need five tickets to win and there are 50 tickets here just to break even. I'm really hoping to break even at minimum from these tickets. If not, it's a big loss per ticket because you lose $5 and if you only get four winners, you're losing 50 bucks. So I'm really excited because I could win $100,000 and then I might not even show this video if that happens, but let's get to it. We're just gonna start panning out 
and scratching off. Finish painting out all of that pay dirt, scratching off all those tickets, and some of that was pretty difficult, but we'll get into that in a minute. For now, let's just show you everything I recovered, and we're going to start with the gold. In the plus 10, I did find some big old pieces of gold in there, and I don't know if you can see that or not, but a lot of those big pieces of gold have some quartz in it, so that's pretty cool. In the minus 10 plus 20, even more gold. About 20 pieces in there, a nice little pile. In the minus 20 plus 40, even more gold. 20, maybe 30 pieces in there. And last but not least, in the minus 40, a couple little pieces, about 10 pieces in there. A lot of them you probably can't see, but there's a lot of little tiny flower gold in there. And now for the lottery tickets. I had a ton of losers, a lot and a lot of losers, but I did have some winners as well. So I was pretty excited about that. But unfortunately, I did learn a very valuable lesson, one that I should have known, and that's to read the description better. When I went into these lottery tickets, I thought the minimum win was $50. And I don't know why I assume that because the one in five odds would mean that they were losing money. So I should have known that they had lower prizes. And in fact, they have a $5 prize and a $10 prize. And I got a lot of those. I did not win any $50 or above. All of my wins were $5 or $10. So let's just start showing you all the totals. 
and we're going to start with the gold. So in the plus 10, Three point two eight zero grams of nice little pickers, maybe a couple little nuggets in there. Minus ten plus twenty. Zero point five eight zero. Minus 20 plus 40, 0 0.105, and then last we're going to do the minus 40. I know it's not going to budge the scale, but I'm going to put it in there anyway. Nope, no budging the scale. So let's just add everything and see how much gold we recovered from Gold Bay. Zero point, or what am I saying? Zero four. 3.960 grams of gold from Gold Bay. And that was from their $250 subscription jug. So pretty good results. I'm guessing I'll have to crunch the numbers in a minute. And now let's just go to the lottery tickets. Now for the lottery tickets in the winnings, I ended up winning $165. The biggest ticket I won was this one for $30 or 40 bucks. 40 bucks was the biggest win I got out of all those tickets. The vast majority of them were $5. I got a couple 10, a 20, and a 30. So total $165 in wins out of $250 worth of lottery tickets. So I'm pretty sure monetary wise, Gold Bay has won. But before we talk about the winner, we need to talk about difficulty. So let's just go to the difficulty. Now let's talk about how difficult this bag of pay dirt was to pan out and these scratchers were to scratch off. Now we're going to start with the scratchers. They're easy. Pretty much anyone can scratch off a lottery ticket and they even make it so you can scratch them off and use an app to make sure you didn't miss a number. The hardest thing about scratcher tickets is reading the rules so you know what the minimum prize is. So I obviously needed some help with that, but I did figure it out in the end. Now for the pay dirt, this stuff is a little bit difficult due to the large amount of material you're going to be going through and the cloudiness of it. So for a beginner panner, I would give this a hard. For a advanced panner, I would give it a medium. And for an expert panner, I would give it a easy, but it is really on the cusp of easy to medium. There was a lot of chunky gold in there. And if you miss that flower gold, I don't think it would hurt your ROI any. So we're gonna give it an easy for an expert panner. So now let's just get to the ROIs and the reviews. All right, finished calculating my ROIs, writing up my reviews, and let's get right to it. We're gonna start with the scratcher tickets. And again, I made a huge bonehead mistake and I don't know how I said these things were so easy to do because I went and checked them all, which is why I have this covering the little QWERTY code is because I had to double check them and I was wrong. I actually won $180 worth of prizes and this one ticket was actually worth 50, not 40. So in total, I had eight $5 tickets. You can see here, three $10 tickets, three $20 tickets, and one $50 ticket for a grand total of $180. Now these are the gold payout lottery tickets. They were $5 each and I purchased 50 of them for a grand total of $250. There was no shipping or any other taxes charged. So grand total right here, $250. And I scratched off all those tickets and as hard as I tried not to win, I still managed to collect $180, which gives me an ROI of 72%. And I have to say, that's pretty good because the odds on winning on these tickets are one in 
four, which means I should have averaged about 12 tickets. 12 and a half tickets should have been winners, and I actually won 15. So those two extra tickets really helped out. Now, unfortunately, I didn't win any really huge prizes, and that really sucks, and they're still all out there because, as I showed you earlier, the vast majority of these have not been collected for as long as this lottery has been out. But I still got a 72% ROI, which is pretty good. Now, for fun factor, I'm actually only going to give this a 4. Now, I did look up my old score for the last time I did one of these battles, and I actually gave the tickets a 5. But in this one, I'm only going to give it a 4. It was a lot of money, so... I was sweating a lot when I wasn't winning, so I didn't enjoy that. When I did win and you saw you only won five bucks, it really didn't make you feel good because you were only winning five bucks. And that just paid for that ticket, and then you would go three or four tickets without winning anything. So for fun factor, I'm only giving it a four. For description, they do get a 10, but people like me that refuse to read them correctly, it's not going to help. For quantity, you really can't go wrong they're going to give you the exact amount that you buy so quantity they're getting a 10 now for customer service i'm only giving them an eight because you have to deal with somebody at a gas station to buy these and i have to tell you when i went into a gas station and asked for 50 tickets they rolled their eyes they had to keep questioning me are you sure you want 50 tickets do you know how much money that's going to be etc cetera, etc cetera, etc cetera. and then you get people behind you looking like they're about to rob you for your $250 worth of lottery tickets. So for customer service, I'm only giving them an eight. Not to mention, if you win one of the bigger prizes, you actually have to go to one of the headquarters. You can't just go to the gas station to collect them. And actually, even collecting these tickets is a pain in the butt. I've done this before, and if you show up with $100 worth of tickets, they don't usually want to cash them. They only want to cash the $20 and $30 tickets. So total score for the gold payout tickets is a 7.8, which isn't really horrible, but I am still on the fence about these tickets. But let's go to the Gold Bay $250 subscription bag. Now, as I said, this was from Gold Bay. It was their $250 subscription bag. It had no guaranteed amount of gold, but it does state the gold amount will be based on the day spot when you order it. Now, its cost was $250.45. Now, what I did was I put this in my cart and I let it sit there for 48 hours. And then I got a nice little email from Gold Bay stating they would give me a discount if I checked out. And I did that. So I don't have the exact breakdown for how much of that was shipping and how much was for the pay dirt. So total cost right here, $250.45. Gold recovered again right here. 3.965 grams. Now, gold spot on the day that this was received was $59.68, which makes this gold worth $236.63, making my ROI 94.48%, or on my scale, a 9.4. Now, for fun factor, I'm going to give this a 10. It had a lot of chunky gold in it. It was a lot of pay dirt to pan out. It did have gold in every classification. So I was really happy with this pay dirt. And especially on a bag where they weren't guaranteeing you any set amount of gold. I knew I was going to get a 80% ROI or somewhere around there. But to get a 94% ROI was pretty nice to have. So, giving them a 10 for fun. For Pater description on this bag of Pater, they're only getting a 4. Now, for quantity and packaging, he's getting an 8.5. An 8 for the packaging and a 9 for the quantity because it was short a couple of ounces. For customer service and shipping, they're getting a 10. I've never had any issues contacting Dave, even through any of my dummy accounts that I use. He's always replied to me. I have a fake Facebook account that I use to message him or his staff, whoever's answering their customer service. And he does have a phone number listed on his website where you can call him and contact him. So for customer service and shipping, he's getting a 10. So total score for Gold Bay is an 8.4. And if he just fixed that description and made it a 10, he would have gotten a 9.6. But an 8.4 still beats the Scratchers ticket 7.8. Now a couple another notes. I did time myself while I was doing this just in case anyone was curious. 
and it took me 45 minutes to scratch off 50 tickets. Now, maybe that was a little fast or a little slow. It was probably a little fast because obviously I missed one or two of the tickets and messed up pretty bad. And I would have lost money if I didn't know about it, but it took me 45 minutes total. While the painter took me an hour and 15 minutes just to paint it one time. I did go back and pan it a second and third time, but the initial pan, I did recover everything. I did not recover anything from the second or third time I panned this, and it was an hour and 15 minutes. So you will get a little bit more time out of panning a painter than you would scratching tickets. So again, that puts the win in the Gold Bay column. Now the last criteria I am also gonna talk about, which I have never used in a video before, is anticipation. Now, I bought these tickets about a month before this video will air, and I only could last two weeks before I had to start shooting this video because the anticipation of knowing did I possibly win $100,000 was just too much for me. While the painter, I didn't mind sitting on. In fact, I have a shelf to my right with over $250 worth of painter sitting on it, and while I do want to pan those out, I don't think I will find a hundred thousand dollars worth of gold in any of those pans. So for anticipation and just the thought of what could possibly happen, lottery tickets will win. So I would definitely choose Gold Bay as the winner in this battle. And I have to say, I'm not sure I will ever do another lottery ticket battle again because I really was sweating with these lottery tickets. With the gold bait, like I said, I knew I was going to get a good return, but with these tickets, when you're spending $250, while there is a ton of anticipation that you might win $100,000, there is also a lot of doubts that you might have just blew 250 bucks and not get a single winning ticket. So I don't know if I'll be doing these again, but that's gonna be it for this video. All that's left is to flash up the scores and give away a 24 karat gold plated dime. So let's just flash up the scores right here. Now before I give away today's 24 karat gold plated dime winner, I do need to give some shout outs to some of my newest Patreon members. And that's Martin Ramey and Scott and Jennifer. So thank y'all very much for joining my Patreon page. And if anyone else is interested in supporting this channel, you can check me out at patreon.com forward slash Miller Prospecting. And now for today's 24 karat gold plated dime winner, that's gonna go to William Merritt. So William Merritt, make sure you email me so I can send this off to you. And to everyone else, thanks for watching, happy panning. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button below.